Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I'm thanking always everyone in advance for that thumbs up. I appreciate the support. Okay guys, this is exciting because it ends up being a negative, it ends up being a positive, and then I get something that I probably wouldn't have treated myself to and not be able to have this opportunity to share with you guys. And that's from the drop shop. The reason I say that is the Box of Charm drop shop is they had some duplication in the boxes, so they sent over a credit. This time they sent over a $6 credit. Normally we get $12 credits, but it probably is something that is in the base box. And it's funny, a couple of you guys wrote to me my comments, and it's so true. I never know what the item is, and I never know which box it is. And the duplication item, I'm always really not not sure until I go into my notes and I try to decipher which items they are. Long story short, I had a $6 credit. There's still that $25 minimum in reference to the BoxyCharm store. And I decided there were a couple of things that were in there I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it or not. I was probably gonna use it just to cover the free shipping and pick up just this one item because it's been on my wants list for a while and the color was never, never available for me. But a palette was in there that the colors just screamed, you gotta get me. And that's what ended up happening. So because of that, I got to that $25. I was at more than $25. I was able to get it to, I think $33 so that when I took that $6 credit off, I was still in that free ship, yeah. I was still in that free ship, plus they still charge you that $1.99 and tax. So everything that I'm gonna be showing you here cost me $30.88. So if you're not familiar, when you see a box like this, this is usually from BoxyCharm, their charm room, not the, the, either their charm room or their drop shop. So I always try to do in the thumbnail where I show you one BoxyCharm box that I keep to be able to show you that that box is a BoxyCharm box. So as you know, I keep my notes so that when it does arrive, uh, because you never get a packing slip or anything in here, so you have to remember what you ordered. And I always like to know what I paid for it and what the actual full retail was, so that's why I do this. So Marc Jacobs has always been a brand that I always watch these larger influencers for years share about how fantastic their bronzers were and things like that. And then all of a sudden, in one of the first mega drop shops or drop shops from BoxyCharm, there were Marc Jacob products in there, and one of them was the bronzer. So I finally was able to get my hands on this bronzer that I was seeing for so many years, but it was always, I felt, a lot of money for a bronzer because it is Marc Jacobs, but what a bronzer. And so happy that I have it. So when other Marc Jacob products became available, I grabbed them. So this time around, there was this one lipstick that I'm wearing now that is so beautiful. It's got this sparkle in it, it's everything. I thought it was gonna be more, based on the picture on BoxyCharm, that it was gonna be more of a fuchsia, but this is just as beautiful. So this one here, it is in the shade that's called Not Sorry, and it came in the full retail carton. This is also a great place if you need to get gifts or shopping. It is so fantastic because the prices I never in my life thought I would see 80% off or sometimes even 90% off a brand like Marc Jacobs. And it was this product here. So the first item here, this only cost me $6 and it is a $29 product. This one is called the Enamored Dazzling Gloss Lip Lacquer. And that's exactly what it is. It's got like a lacquer to it. It's not sticky. Your, your, your lips feel very hydrated and the color payoff was really with one swipe. So what they wrote here uh, in the notes on it, they're saying it will deliver maximum color with ultra brilliant shimmer and shine. The unique formula creates a glitzy look that feels cushiony on the lips, not gritty or sticky. And that's exactly so true. Combined with the triple shine complex, it is a blend of high performance ingredients that creates that optical plumping look 
that is multi-chromatic collection creates eye-catching dimension and shine like a 3D coats of lacquer. So this product here, like I said, so fantastic and in a retail package. And this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's flat on both sides. So it was really easy to place it exactly where I wanted it. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand here so you guys can see. It went on perfect. And that is the shade there. So hopefully the light is catching it. There is this ultra shine to it, but there's also these little sparkles that are inside. I don't know if my lips are showing it or if it's better on the hand, but so, so excited that this was one of the options. And that ended up being where I spent my $6. The next item was one that started this whole order. And it is from this brand called Vesca. And this is a, uh, the, they're saying the contents in here are made in Italy. But from my understanding, this was a Canadian brand. But let me read to you what they wrote on here. This cost me $9, it is a bronzer. And I only saw a couple of people open it up who got PR and this is months ago. And that's how long my wants list goes. But the few times that I went to get it, the colors went really quickly. And I went to the website to see what my match would be. And I wrote that down on my paper. So when this color became available in this most recent drop shop, that is what started this order. This only cost me $9 and it is a $30 bronzer. And they're saying introducing Kissed by Soft Matte Bronzer Powder is a velvety smooth bronzer that delivers a sun-kissed warmth to the face and body. It's available in seven shades. It has a, a scent that will transport you to the dreamiest destination. I will have to smell this. I'm wearing it right now, but I don't think I smelt this. It says Kissed by Soft Matte Bronzing Powder gives all the skin tones a healthy glow with the ultra blendable formula that leaves a soft matte skin like finish. Now the seven shades that this came in, the first one was Rio and that was for fair. Santorini is the one that I picked up and they said that was for light medium with warm undertones. The fair was with neutral undertones. The other one that I was looking at, but it looked really dark in the pictures and it's so hard to choose products based on the pictures that they show on BoxyCharm. And so I went to the website and they were pretty similar. The other one was called Diani and that was medium with golden undertones. Then all the other ones become really, really dark. There's two in the rich shade and one has neutral undertones. The other one would have red undertones and that was in Maldives and Cabo. And then the deepest shades were in Bali and Tahiti and one of those has neutral undertones and the other one had red undertones. So they really, really went the whole gambit of going from the fairs to the deepest, which I thought was really great. So simply how to use this, get the glow for a soft matte glow. You can use a fluffy brush to sweep the kissed by soft matte bronzing powder over the part of the face that adds warmth to your cheeks, the bridge of your nose and to the perimeter of your face for a bronzing effect. And you can also use this on the body. You can blend it uh, across your collarbone, your shoulders, and then you can always layer for buildable intensity. So this is what the shade looks like here. And I will definitely be swatching this for you as well. There is a full mirror in here. It does come with a safety shield. And this is the shade that I chose. And like I said, this is the second one up. So this is, they're saying for light to medium skin tones. To me, this was absolutely perfect. And I thought it really, really gave me exactly what I wanted. It is that beautiful, beautiful bronzing effect. And I will swatch this right over here so you guys will be able to see how beautiful this color is. So that is what it looks like there. Is that not stunning? So I used it, as they said, on the perimeters, my cheek and a little bit over here to give it a little bit more of a carved out look. And I'm really, really happy with the shade that I waited for because I really think the other ones would have been too deep. So really excited about that. So that's what started all this. So I was gonna spend the $9, then the $1.99 plus tax and just take the $6 off, which would have been for the shipping. But then this is what caught my eye. And I don't know if you guys were on the drop shop with me when I go through all the spoilers and then I share with you and we go through all the contents to see and I share with you because I purchased so much. I love being able to share on my channel my thoughts and opinions when I get to the products that I've had the opportunity to try. And then I share that with you when we go through all of those. So this brand, IBY, is one that I have shared with you in the past. I have never gotten a palette this large from them, but every product that I have used from their brand in reference to their eyeshadows has been an absolute home run. So when these colors spoke to me, when I open this up, hopefully they will speak to you the same way. The colors you can even just see on the outer carton of this. I also love being able to pick up products like this at really discounted prices. 
this discount on this was just mediocre, but every other site that I went on to, including theirs, it was sold out on. So this is in the uh, IBY Beauty, and it is in the one that's called Super Bloom. I paid $18 for this. This is normally a $25 palette. It says this was inspired by the Southern California poppies. Their Super Bloom palette will inspire you to create countless looks. These 20 warm tone shades are highly blendable, which they are. I'm wearing them on my eyes right now. And they work best with a brush or a finger for a quick application. And as I share with you all the time, I very rarely use my fingers. You can dress up the shade range or dress it down for something more wearable. So the shade names, I will go through all of them with you here. And I will lift it up to the here. And then I'll share with you the ones that I use. And I will definitely do some swatching. Is this not the most beautiful palette you have ever seen? It is just stunning. There's something about it. It could have been the day, but when it arrived, I'm so happy that I made the decision. It also comes with a safety shield. So starting at the top here, the first item is in cream cup. They're saying that is a light, warm yellow matte. The next one is Overlook Trail. That is a light taupe matte. Then we have Copra de Aura. It is a sheer light copper shimmer glitter. Then they have Phenomenon. It is a medium copper shimmer. Then they have Heelside, which is a medium taupe matte. Then they have Flower Child, which is a sheer light gold shimmer glitter. Then they have In Bloom, which is a sheer delicate pink shimmer glitter. Then they have Wildflower, which is that soft coral satin. Then they have Poppy, which is that tangerine foil. Golden State, which is a cool yellow matte. Lupine, which is a lavender foil. Ladybug, a hot pink matte. Painted Lady, which is a brick matte. Antelope Valley, which is a muted orange matte. Lake uh, Elysinor is an intense eggplant shimmer. Then they have Bluebell, which is a light purple blue shimmer, and Crimson Heat, which is a burgundy matte. And then there's two more on the bottom here. They have Canyon, which is a medium brown, and then Sunset Glow, they're saying is a deep copper shimmer. So they're saying that everything in here is infused with a rosehip seed oil for the skin to protect it. It is formulated with vitamin E to nourish and provide antioxidant benefits. It's vegan, gluten, gluten-free, and manufactured without talc, mineral oil, parabens, and sulfates. So simply they're saying they always suggest to lay down an eye primer, which I do as a base, to ensure long wear. You can use setting spray on your brush to intensify the shimmer of the metallic shades. I didn't do any of that. I literally used just brushes. I did use a light, light primer because that's what I always do. But what I ended up doing was I, let me see if I can do this so that the other mirror in the back doesn't go. I did the all over with the first shade here. Then I used the second one here as my transition. Then I chose to use the, um, because of the lipstick, this color here, a little bit underneath my uh, transition shade. And then I added a little bit of this because I just couldn't resist. And then I used this gorgeous red color, which I very rarely use, and now I will. And then I deepened it up a little bit on the outside. And then I used to line my lid a little bit on the outer corner with the brown. There's so much in this palette, it was really hard to choose. Oh, and then in the center of my eye to give a little pop of shimmer, I used this shade here. And then in the inner corners, I used the one right beside it. So let me swatch all these for you so you can see it. But on my eyes, that's exactly what I used. Everything blended beautifully. Nothing bled into each other. Nothing made it muddy. IBY makes, to me, one of the best formulas that are such an attainable price. That is why I love it. So this is here. And I, I got to learn about this brand in the uh, Ipsy add-ons when they have them in quads or they have them in duos. So one, two, three, four, there's five. So let me do the fifth one here. So that's the, the whole first row, which is stunning. That is your perfect, perfect neutrals that you need in every palette. The next two, three, four here, and then we'll do the yellow one after. So this is what I used in the corner of my eye. Then we have in bloom here. The next one over was the one that I used, and so did I. Look how gorgeous. And this is like literally one little dab in, and there's still so much left on my fingers. I do have a wet cloth beside me and then a dry cloth right next to it. And I will just do the yellow one, which is one that I'm telling you, a yellow in a palette. I'm shocked that I ended up not using it. Like if that is, if you don't like to use shimmers in the center of your eye to give your eye that pop, yellow has been my new go-to. Now the next line here, we'll do the same thing. Those are the next four. They're just beautiful, 
just, just beautiful. And like I said, no patchiness, blended beautifully, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And then the last one on this row is this color here. Are these not the happiest colors? So, so beautiful. And then you have your deeper tones, which means you'll be able to use, I will anyways, you know, throughout all the seasons. So this is like, if you need a palette that's gonna give you a little bit darker and have the purples and have the yellows and have the blues, everything is in here. And then the last one is that shimmer shade that is here. And that's the whole palette swatched. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So that's everything that I got, the lip, the bronzer, and then this gorgeous palette. And all of that I got to my door, free ship in the USA through the BoxyCharm drop shop in the month of July. So excited to always being able to share this with you. And then if you're interested in any of these, you just add it to your wants list and then hopefully it's available in the next drop shop or if the drop shop's still going on, you can see if any of these are still available for you as well. And that's it for today, guys. So everyone continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all soon again in my next video. Bye for now.